Median arcuate ligament syndrome is a constellation of abdominal symptoms occurring in the presence of compression of the celiac artery by the median arcuate ligament. There has been extensive controversy about symptoms and diagnostic criteria for intervention. Some question the clinical entity altogether. Compression of the celiac artery may impede blood flow or stimulate the celiac plexus adjacent to the artery or a combination of both. But without a clear comprehension of the pathophysiological consequences of the extrinsic compression of the celiac artery and its nerves, it is frequently difficult to ascribe the radiologic findings to the abdominal pain. Classically, patients present with postprandial epigastric pain, nausea, weight loss, and anorexia. However, these symptoms are vague and nonspecific and can be manifestations of other abdominal ailments. Many patients present atypically, making the clinical diagnosis a challenge. As such, MALS remains a diagnosis of exclusion, requiring patients to undergo extensive workup to exclude other conditions. We embarked on a retrospective analysis of patients at our hospital who had a diagnosis of celiac artery compression and found that only 23.5% had MALS based on the final clinical diagnosis during the initial or subsequent encounters. Our study made the novel observation that patients who had MALS had a different phenotype compared to those without MALS. The MALS group were more likely to be younger, female, and had a significantly lower incidence of diabetes, hypertension, renal disease, mesenteric artery disease, and peripheral arterial disease compared to the non-MALS group. This may be a useful clinical criteria when presented with a patient in whom a diagnosis of MALS is being entertained. MALS is an elusive syndrome that requires correlation of celiac anatomy compression with clinical symptoms and patient demographics.